Welcome to the Windows 10 and Computer Channel and as we continue looking at the settings in the settings app, we'll talk about a feature called Focus Assist. Focus Assist is, if we put it in other terms, the equivalent of Do Not Disturb, which would be a better name by the way Microsoft than Focus Assist. So basically, an example is I have it turned on right now. If you see my notifications, there's like a little icon, kind of a moon icon on the bottom right. It's because Focus Assist is on right now, and it says Alarm Only. So what is Focus Assist? Well, like I said, it is the equivalent of Do Not Disturb. Simply go into your Settings app, Start Menu, Settings Gear, click Settings. Go into System, and on the left side, Focus Assist. So the idea behind Focus Assist is to only give you notifications that you want or not at all, depending on what you are doing with your computer. There are times when notifications are okay, but there are times when you don't want to have notifications. So here are the settings for the notifications um, that Focus Assist can actually uh, do. So as you see here, it says at the top, choose which notifications you'd like to see in here. So you can stay focused. That's why they call it Focus Assist. So basically, um, it says the rest will go straight to Action Center where you can see them at any time. So you got off. It mean, that means get all notifications from your apps in contacts, whatever happens. Uh, you have priority only. That means that it is only priority and notifications that will actually be selected and working. And you can customize the priority list here. As you see here, uh, calls, texts, people, apps, you choose which ones are actually giving you the notifications in here. Either it's calls, text messages, reminders, uh, contacts that you might have, or apps. You choose what you want here. Alarms only, hide all notifications except for alarms. Alarms is, for example, if you set a uh, clock alarm to wake you up or do something or warn you of something. Uh, these are only the ones that are actually showing up. The rest will not be uh, seen. It will all be hidden. Then you've got automatic rules, which is during these times. So, for example, you might want to have notifications during the daytime. You leave your PC on at night. You don't want to have notifications when you're sleeping. Well, you can say, oh, I don't want to have notifications from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. or so on. You can turn this on. And when you turn it on, you can actually change the uh, times. So when you click, it gives you actually a um, place where you can actually set the time. Start and uh, is it daily or specific days or weekends. And focus level, the priority or alarms only. Uh, that you can actually set. So this is the, uh, if you set it during specific times. When I'm duplicating my display on alarms only, that means only um, specific alarms, like for example, the clock um, that will be showing up, um, not the rest of the notifications when you're duplicating. So when you have a second screen, for example. When you're playing games, well, one of the things you don't want is have annoying notifications all the time playing games. So you can leave that on to make sure that nothing happens while you're actually uh, killing zombies, for example. When I'm using an app in full screen mode, and that's why mine is turned on right now, because the screen recorder actually is a full screen mode app. So it actually automatically pushes my computer into uh, focus assist uh, alarms only. Of course, when you have an option like this, you can actually click on each option and choose the type of notifications that you want. And finally, you have uh, when I'm at home. And at the bottom, it says, show me a summary of what I missed while Focus Assist was on. What that does is that while you are in the Do Not Disturb mode or Focus Assist mode, it uh, keeps track of all the notifications that actually were um, arriving to your PC. When you get back into normal mode where it actually can show them, 
it will actually show you a rundown of, oh, by the way, this is what you missed while you were, you know, playing your game or while you were doing something else. And it will actually give you a little rundown. You can remove that check mark if you don't want to have a rundown of whatever you've missed uh, in the uh, notifications uh, of your computer. And remember, if you don't want to have notifications and stuff, what you should do is simply make sure that you turn them off in notifications and actions because that's where it's happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.